Hey guys, this is the, another video of my uh, other Rass in the tank, the uh, Golden Ron Blade Rass or Golden Rass. He's from the Marshall Islands. He was sold as a super male. I got him on a reflection here because he's more skittish, so he doesn't like the camera as much. But as you can tell here, uh, with the purple and the gold in the background, I'm actually using the side of the glass here um, to show you his, his colors. But nice honeycomb colors, very, very pretty. Um, he's passive. But uh, the, the the flame rats and the uh, Ron Boyd fairy rats get along because I put them at exactly the same day, so uh, they knew each other in the same tank. There was no territory uh, set up, um, and uh, you know they they're doing fine. He uh, with fairy rats is you know they, it's just in this size tank. You know, I wouldn't put more than two. I tried three in the past, and it seems like there's always a territory issue. Then again, I, you know, sometimes I'm at him after the other fish. So, um, he eats, you know, basically your pretty much everything from ghost shrimp to flakes to pellets. So, he pretty much eats anything you put in the tank. I try to, you know, do a little fish chum to keep them uh, nice and healthy, have a different variety of food for them so they can keep their color. I do put vitamin C in my my chum mix, so uh, they get some high, you know, get some soaked vitamin uh, food in there. Uh, they love to hide in the rocks. It's a fairy rat, so what they do is create a uh, like a cocoon of a uh, like a uh, I guess like filmy type of a cocoon to uh, block the scent from predators at night. It's just a natural instinct that they do. He's from again the Marshall Isles. You see the beautiful purple colors. Uh, I definitely can't get a good clear picture of him only because he is a shy fish. He definitely would uh, go for cover when he sees me, uh, except when I'm feeding the tank. Um, but, you know, I give it him time. You know, he's, he was caught in from the wild. Uh, the flame rash was more experienced in the aquarium, so he's less, less scared. But uh, in time, these fish will get used to the tank, the people, uh, won't be as skittish. This is a rimless tank, so I don't want him to uh, get scared because, you know, they, they always say it's also a possible jumping, but uh, if, if there's nothing to spook him or chase him, uh, then, uh, you know, he has no reason to jump. He'll just stay in the water. Uh, you can see my flame rats. He doesn't care. He'll swim over the tank. He's more skittish. So uh, if I go in the front, which I do in about a second, you'll see how quickly he gets scared. I'll try to move slowly so I get a better picture of him. But... Um, once he sees me, he kind of hides out there, goes in the little corner, but uh, beautiful color. There he is. See, now he sees me. I'm trying to get a nice close-up of him. You see the honeycomb like color patterns. One of the rarer fish in the wrasse world. As you can see in the shade, you got the purple sticking out. He is supposed to be a super male. And now he's close. He sees me. He's going right in that rock. He doesn't like, I don't want to be in the camera. But, um, you know, post comments. I uh, haven't for a little while now, and uh, you know I could get back to you with uh, any experience I have. If you have any questions looking to get this fish, uh, let me know, and I could tell you, you know what the, you know maybe compatibility issues of what fish you have in tank. Because uh, you know I definitely have an overstocked tank, but I planned it where I could have a good diversity of fish, including predator fish that leave you know this little yellow session alone. My dotty back there is small, but they leave them alone. But as you can see here, uh, he definitely doesn't want me. To be pictured right now he's not too happy so all right guys so i'll let you know about my other fish in the tank just let me know uh if you have any questions about this particular fish or any other rashes that through my experience